There's for Graham Seafair. Right. There he is. Graham right there. Okay, good. Well, welcome, Graham. Listen, we've got air show action coming your way. In fact, it's flying right over center point now. A warthog. And Fat Albert's getting ready to head to the race course as well. We've just got so much action, we can't keep up with it. But you will. Stay tuned to Cairo 7. Live coverage of the Key Bank Air Show at Seafair is presented by Key Bank, proud sponsor of Seafair. And welcome back. You're looking live at the Key Bank Air Show. This is an A-10 Thunderbolt Warthog, as they call it, a ground attack aircraft with the U.S. Air Force and putting on a spectacular demonstration for us today is Major Brian Willits, the A-10 pilot. He is Air Command's A-10 West Coast Demonstration Team pilot and officer in charge of the A-10 Demonstration Team. The Warthog, by the way, it's doing its demonstration right over the lake. In fact, just about the big oval that is the race course here on Lake Washington. The Warthog is a plane that you might recognize as one that was used extensively during Operation Desert Storm in support of NATO operations in response to the Kosovo crisis, in Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, and of course, Operation Iraqi Freedom. I just heard the narrator here say they call this the Salty Pass, I believe he said. We're geared down. You think at how supersonic this jet is to be able to go that slow over the race course is pretty amazing. They say this aircraft, by the way, is suitable for operation from forward bases with short takeoff and landing capabilities. Also has long range, some 800 miles and endurance. And as they say, it can loiter in the battle area. It's also a remarkably quiet aircraft considering. So actually what this has is you see those two engines on the back, those are turbofan jet engines, I'm told, just like a commercial jet, as opposed to the jet engines you hear and see perhaps on the Blue Angels that we'll see coming by in just a bit. Look at the maneuverability of that aircraft. This is neck creak time for all of us old folks who stare upwards at the air show as it takes place every year It's here at Seafair. In 2007, Boeing was awarded a contract for the A-10 wing replacement program. Boeing will supply 242 replacement wing sets by the year 2018. Boeing, of course, one of the prime defense contractors in this country. And the great news just a month or so ago, less than that, for so many Boeing workers and Boeing shareholders here that that Boeing tanker program is still alive and kicking as it will be rebid again. So the commercial facility, the 767 line up in Everett, is one that will have an opportunity once again to bid on that air tanker replacement program. Meantime, we're still watching the Warthog demonstration from the U.S. Air Force. And right now, we continue on with the Warthog demonstration by the U.S. Air Force. And again, the pilot, Major Brian Willits. The aircraft, by the way, has 11 stores pylons, as they're called, providing an external load capacity of 
over 7,200 kilograms. That's of weaponry, folks. That's what this thing can take with it when it goes to battle. So it can do some serious damage to enemies of the United States or NATO or whomever it is in the use of. The A-10 can also carry up to 10 Maverick air-to-surface missiles. And he's coming back now. Post haste. Over the race course and heading north. And now banking west. And now climbing out. It is truly when we talk to folks along the shoreline and out on the log boom, boat races have always been the great tradition here at Seafair, but the Key Bank Air Show presented by Boeing has become as big a part of Seafair as the parade and the boat races and all the rest. And truly one of the fine air shows in this country. Always excited to have the Air Force and the Navy. And now watch this Warthog. This demonstration now gets even more interesting as it's going to chase down from a bygone era, a P-51 Mustang. So remember, that P-51, World War II vintage against today's ultra-modern Warthog to show you the capabilities, to show you the handleability, if that's a word, of that aircraft. And they are truly wingtip to wingtip out there. That P-51 you're looking at is a prototype of the Sky Raider flown back in 1945. Now, as they move out of sight for a moment, they will return. In fact, they will fly those two planes back over the race course and the performance area along the shores of Lake Washington with bagpipes playing in the background. It is a reminder of the importance of our military, of our armed forces, certainly of our Air Force that we celebrate here today. pictures here over the race course. The Warthog, the Mustang. And what our Air Force has meant to this country. A terrific demonstration and a moving one as well. There are many military veterans in attendance here today, and this is a salute to all of them and all who are serving overseas to defend our freedoms now. So again, the air show continues, the Key Bank air show over Lake Washington and our Seafair celebration.